What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And it's your favorite designer at photohacklovers.com. And today I'm going to bring you a new and improved video on how to sell digital assets like templates, photos, illustrations, and graphics on Canva. Now, as many of you have known, I used to make a, a, a lot of videos regarding how to make money as a designer. Well, um, I did some reviews about 99 designs and I had done some other reviews and I went from working in the industry to freelancer to basically selling my own digital assets. I've been very successful in this aspect. I would say that in all of the other areas of my life I failed and selling digital asset just seems to be the easiest, most fluid thing that you can do and it's super freaking easy and I'm here to tell you how, how to use Canva to your advantage. Now Canva has over 1 million users and as I've been selling on the creative market for the past couple years, I've been selling on Etsy, I've been selling on Hungry JPEG, um, all of these other design bundles.net, I have like a slew of places where I sell my graphics and the majority of these customers are Canva users. Now before Canva had this role and policy that you can't sell um, quote unquote Canva templates templates so basically what we've been doing we've been selling you know JPEGs and things that are not um, software specific so that's why when a lot of people you know ask me why do I have things a certain way I try to make my products as universal as possible you know and and so that they will fit on Canva because the majority of my clients are Canva users so now um, we have a new and improved way of making money while we wait for Amazon to get their shit together and let us digital sellers sell on the handmade area. Okay, we're still waiting on that one. And you know what I'm talking about. All the digital sellers who've been selling digital assets have been waiting, you know, for Amazon to, to become a bright company and allow us to sell on that platform. But while we wait, we can get into this canvas shit because I think it's going to be something. I really do. I think that we got something here. Now, I just applied. I, I was just told by a friend, and I'm a little late on this. Um, when people said that they were selling Canva templates, I thought they were selling them illegally until I came across this like design um, link this design center so now Canva is allowing designers like myself and other people who sell digital assets to go on here and sell photos sell illustrations and so this is another passive uh, another good passive way of making money um, through through the Canva users and this is amazing this is amazing because this is what I do all day every day and I'm also gonna start making a series of videos on how you can make your own Canva templates and stuff like that because that seems to be a popular reoccurring thing. And so I want to go ahead and take a look at the site. You're going to have to apply. They're, they're going to ask you for some portfolio information. I honestly think that um, I, I didn't give them a link to my portfolio per se. I gave them a link to my online shops because I have found that um, the shops hold more weight than an actual portfolio because there's there's the sales and then there's the reviews and they can see that you've had a history with making sales selling your shit online so therefore you know that's I think that's a little bit more reputable than just like a, a garbage portfolio that's just been sitting there probably since you you left college you know what I mean like I I would be ashamed to show my college well not really like some things from it you know some things from it but you know your college portfolio is never going to be like your real world work you know what I mean so I want to go ahead and take a moment and show that to you guys and I'm going to leave a link down in the description below I also want to remind you if you support this channel and you want me to keep making more videos please subscribe even if you don't like me just just do it just because because I you know because I'm special and shit no I'm just kidding if you don't want to subscribe you don't have to but I mean I really would appreciate it and you know at least hit that bell and you know put hit a thumbs up you know show me some lovin's you know like you show your cat okay then so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this website and shut the hell up 
Okay, so here is the website. Canva has launched a marketplace allowing professional graphic designers to contribute layouts and earn royalties every time their designs are purchased. The announcement was made this week at the Manila Canva Creative Conference for Designers. Okay, so here's the link. It's about.canva slash dot com designers. Um, some of the key features, you can license your design, earn royalties, design for an audience of millions, simple and easy to use. Um, and of course, this is so much fun. So you can, you can hit the apply now. And then when you, once you hit the apply now, um, you're going to have to fill out an application here. And then once you fill out the application, then you can get approved and then you can start uploading your work. And then what happens is, is that those designs um, go into the Canva database. And here is something that I put together so like you can understand what it is. Okay, so here is a graphic in the background here, this little flower thing here. And notice it has a watermark on Canva. Now, you can't download this. It's asking you to pay for the image because it's a premium image, depending on the stuff that's in here, you know. So, for example, if I were to purchase this image, which I'm not, because I could totally go ahead and create that myself. So, you know. <laughs> so, you pay and download, and then that artist gets a cut of whatever the sale is. So, basically, that's how it works. Um, I'm not sure of the percentage and the ratios um, of how that gets paid. I don't think that you will get that information until you open a shop. They kind of like don't provide that information up front. So I am going to see if I can, you know, get approved for this. I've already applied and see what's going to happen. Um, I'd be surprised if they didn't approve me, being the fact that I'm probably like one of the number one sellers on Creative Market and Etsy, I'm in the top 1% over there. So, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. And one, I'm gonna go ahead and review it and see how it goes and then I'm gonna let you guys know. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, you know, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.